Hello, yes. this is Retro TK2, and today we're learning about basic data types in C Sharp. Please feel free to download the channel files that accompany this video, is. Yes. The card should be on your screen now. So let's get started. Open up Unity and create a basic C Sharp script. As ever, yes, make sure it's a different name from any other script in your project. We'll be looking at these data types in their literal form, yes. What is a literal? Well, according to MSDN, a literal is a source code representation of a value. Confused? Well, according to Wikipedia, a literal is a notation for representing a fixed point value in source code. Yeah, still confused, Ace? Well, let's look at some examples of this. The first data type we'll look at is the int data type. Int stands for integer. What is an integer? Well, according to Google, an integer is a number which is not a fraction, a whole number. So 1, 10, minus 1,000, and 256 are all examples of integers, while 1 half, 0.4, and minus 2 thirds are not. In C Sharp, we write the literal definition of an integer as a number without any prefix. For this example, I'm going to type out 1, 2, 3, or 123, yes. I'm also writing this directly into the debug log method as a parameter. We'll go over this in more detail a little bit later on in the series, yes, and I'll explain what's happening here. Basically, doing this means I don't have to store the literal in a variable, and I can just pass it in as a parameter to the log method. Also, these literals will be logged out using their string representation of the value, but again, yes, we'll save that for another video. For now, I'm typing the literal in, and it gets logged out. That's as far as we need to take it, yes. If we pop back into Unity and drag our script onto our game object, and run our game, You'll see that it'll log 1, 2, 3 to the console. Fairly simple at this stage, yes. Let's move on to floats. According to MSDN, the float keyword signifies a simple type that stores 32 bit floating point values and has a precision of 7 digits. Float is an alias for the system single type. What is a floating point? Well, as with most topics, yes, it's out of the scope of this video. And for getting up and running, we don't really need to fully understand it. If we pop back into Visual Studio, we can write the decimal 3.5 as a float by typing out 3.5 and putting an F on the end. The letter case and if the F doesn't matter, yes, so feel free to capitalize it if you like. If we run our game now, you'll see that the 3.5 is outputted to the console. It's very important to understand how precision comes into play when using floating point values. We've already read that a float has a precision of 7 digits, but what does that really mean? Yes. Well, if I type out 1.23456789F into our debug log method, save the script and head back into Unity, and run our game, you'll see that the log displays 1.23456789. Since floats have precision 7, it displays 7 digits and then rounds the remaining digits after it. So the reason it's not displaying it as 1.234567 is that it rounds the 7 to 8 since the number that previously followed was an 8. Basic rounding here is. If I go back and change the 8 to a 1, save our script and go back into Unity, and rerun our game, you'll see that 1.234567 is now displayed. All float numbers that have more than 7 digits are handled in a similar way. If I remove the decimal point from our float so that the value is now 123,456,719, save our script and head back into Unity, and run our game, You'll see it displays this as 1.234567, but is also followed by an E plus 0, 8. E here stands for exponent and means times 10 to the power of. So in this case, 1.234567 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8. Or if we calculate it out, 123,456,700. Here we see why precision is such an important consideration. Yes. Our number is now changed. Now, generally speaking, the accuracy of a float should be fine, though of course it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're working with numbers with more than 7 digits, then a more accurate data type will be required. Your mileage may vary here, yes. Doubles are also a floating point type, and as the name suggests, they have double the precision over their float, 
aka single cousins. According to MSDN, the double keyword signifies a simple type that stores 64-bit floating point values. And has a precision of 15 to 16 digits. Let's see this in action, yes. In C-sharp, a real numeric literal, that's a number that contains a decimal point without a suffix letter ace, is treated as a double. However, an integer literal is still an int ace, so in order to treat that as a double, we need to add a D to the end of it. Once again, ace, this letter can be capitalized if you prefer. Save the script and head straight back into Unity. And run our game. You'll see that the number 123456 is printed. Doubles will also get rounded when the precision limit is reached, yes. If I type out 1.2345678901234567789, 0123456789, save it and head back into Unity and rerun our game, you'll see that 1.2345678901234456 is logged to the console. Phew. Let's have a look at Bullseys. According to MSDN, the bool keyword is an alias of system.boolean. It is used to declare variables to store the boolean values true and false. So if I type true as a literal or false as a literal into our log methods, save Visual Studio and head back into Unity and rerun our game, you'll see that true and false are now logged to the console. Those are going to be incredibly important when we start looking at conditional operations, yes. Moving on, let's check out our last basic data type of the day, strings. According to MSDN, and I'm sure you're tired of hearing that by now, yes, string type represents a sequence of zero or more Unicode characters. String is an alias for string in the .NET framework. To create a literal string in C-sharp, type out two speech marks and place your text in between them. It should be logged as normal to the console ace. Yes. Strings are definitely the most mysterious of the data types in C-sharp ace. Yes. For one thing, every object in C-sharp can invoke the toString method to get a string representation of the object. The main reason for this is so that the object can be displayed in the console or otherwise. Funny enough, even this string object has this method ace. Yes. A string is an array of characters, yes, but we'll explore this in much more detail as the series goes on. You now know how to declare basic data types in their literal form, yes. And that's it. Rate, comment, and subscribe, yes. Tell me how I'm getting on. You can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with any help you need. Thank you for watching, yes, and I'll see you in the next video.